Hello, good afternoon, welcome along to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby, indeed good morning if you're joining us on the uh, east coast or indeed the west coast of the US, what is it, 10 o'clock, 7 o'clock with you guys. I hope you've woken up to a fantastic Sunday. Uh, we're having a ball here, we uh, kick things off. We kind of ease gently into Sunday with the Colour Me Happy show a little bit earlier on. Still to come later on of course as well, we've got Second Chance Sunday, lots to tell you about that. And over the course of the next couple of hours, a masterclass where we delve deeper into a uh, particular uh, product today that product being the uh, masquerade ball collection and give you loads of hints tips and ideas and this is a great show to ask any questions if you're thinking about getting the collection or indeed if you've already got it just before we get started with that I must just remind you that today is the last day for you to get your hands on this week's get it got it good which are those amazing totes uh, you basically buy two and get one free we'll chat more about that later on and also it's the last day uh, to save 50% on our embossing folders as well so uh, maybe you want to stock up maybe new year new craft you're thinking about trying out embossing folders this is a great day to be able to grab some we've actually got two of those folders on the show which we'll chat more about but you can see the full range on our website uh, but make sure you buy those today because those deals will not be applicable tomorrow now uh what's so funny about that it's just the way you said it. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> as you can probably tell, I've got a fantastic guest who is here with me for the next couple of hours, giggling away the other side of the studio, <laughs> the lovely uh, Michelle McCarthy. It's going to be a good show, isn't it? It is. I'm very excited for this one. So we've got the Masquerade Ball, which is just, um, just so much fun to play with. So yeah, definitely. Let's have a look at some of your little uh, finished cards, can we? So we can wet our Yes. Oh, I'll show you some samples. Mm. Show you to whet your appetite. Yes. So we have got that beautiful Shall We Dance, which is uh, Debbie Robinson's favourite. It is. She says that's me and her. Oh. That's what she says. She does, yeah. Mm, bless her. <laughs> and then, so these are the stamps, oh, one wow. of the stamp sets. So they've been stamped out in various different colours and then matte and layered up using those beautiful feathers um, in that collection. And then the beautiful mask, and again with the feathers um, and blinged up with all those pearls. This collection really lends itself to bringing you all your exciting el elements in, your embellishments, so your, your bright gems, your feathers, glitter, um, all sorts of things. Just a, a very sumptuous uh, collection. And then again, so making that, um, shall we dance in that dome front card. And again, so there's the stamp and those um, beautiful feathers on there. So. Wonderful collection, very, very, um, what's the word? Very, um, <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Here we go. <laughs> Let's play. Guess the word with Michelle. Come on, what's the word? Um, it's a very, yep, full, yes. elegant, yes, beautiful, yes, bright, radiant, yes. exciting yes. collection. <laughs> It, cer it certainly is all words I would have uh, definitely used to describe this collection as well. I love it because you and I are so, so the same in that regard when we get stuck on a word and we just cannot <laughs> think of the, it's on the tip of the tongue yeah. but can't quite get it out. Uh, but this collection is, is all that and more, it is it's glorious. I love the fact that you've got um, that amazing colour palette with this as well and we will go through it in more detail in just a second. But you are going to get uh, 12 by 12 papers in here, you're going to get your luxury cardstock included in here as well. Well, you're going to get a whole host of embossing folders in here, stunning stamp and die sets, beautiful dies. Uh, and what I love is the fact that the embossing folders again cross over with the um, dies that you're going to get in this collection. It's all about the beautiful masks and chandeliers and uh, you know it's got a real kind of um, for me sort of um, Phantom of the Opera sort of feel about this. I know a lot of our US viewers say that the uh, colour scheme on this is very Mardi Gras. However you look at this it is a lovely lovely collection. What a price today as well $47.99 if you're platinum or $61.85. You can go for for the complete collection um, that's where the best value for money is you're saving 30 percent however you can also make up your own bundles as well which we'll talk about later on because the embossing folders individually are on a stunning deal best value for money is always in the bundle because you're saving 30 percent but if you want to make up your own uh smaller bundles you can now 
with it being a masterclass, uh, we are going to take you on a bit of a journey. We're going to give you kind of um, ideas for you if you're um, more of a beginner crafter. Uh, and as we get through the show, more advanced ideas for you as well. So as always, uh, if you want to ask a question, you can do. If there's anything that you want to know, you can do. And indeed, if you want to say hello, you can do. Hello to Georgiana who's with us from uh, Clearwater, Florida. Bethan Thomason says hello again, Ben and Michelle. Hey, Bethan. Uh, Carletta is in. Mitzi's in from Virginia. Uh, Caroline C says hi all from a sunny Edinburgh. Ben Ben McCarthy is in, Cheryl Kay is in, and hi to Annette on the Gulf Coast. Uh, I was supposed to get to you by seven minutes past three. It is bang on. How's that for timing, eh? I mean, seriously, like I've Perfect. done it before. I know anyone would think you were a professional. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Where are we going to start? So we're going to start with this fabulous mask. Um, just one of my favourites from this collection, absolutely. So we've got the beautiful um, Celebrate die here that we're going to use as well. So we'll just bob that to the side for the minute, but we're going to start off with this. So let's get this out, if I can. There we, oh, I should have checked it before. So let me just poke out my little bits, just bear with me. I know who that is, who's left the... Uh, who the, is that? Is that... Debbie! I'm going to say, is it Debbie? Yeah, because I just remembered when um, I was last with this collection, it was our first um, Create Chat Oh, craft of course, show. it was last week, it wasn't was it? Wednesday yeah. of last week with our brand new show, by the way, which is back tomorrow morning, uh, UK time, 8 o'clock. Uh, for three hours of fun. Um, yes, that's when I last saw it. Ooh. So it was definitely Debbie that's left that messy. Well, I'm seeing her tonight, so I'll be oh, having yeah. words. Yeah, so Ben said. <laughs> yeah, it was you. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll go, what am I like? <laughs> she will. She will, definitely. So I'm nearly there. Just got a couple more bits to poke out. Yeah. Although I must admit, I'm not complaining too much because I enjoy doing this. Oh, I'm the same. I love it's it. It's satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> it really Poking is. little bits and pieces. It is. Yeah. Oh, that last one. Oh, there we are. Right. <laughs> there you go. If any of our lovely experts are watching right now, you know if you've got a show uh, and Michelle's following you the next day, you can leave it a right old mess because she enjoys, <laughs> enjoys uh, doing picking it. out all the pieces. I just need to make sure that I do it before. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I have got this. So this is from the Blue and Blush Pearl um, card pad. So it's the 12 by 12 300 GSM ones. So it's from the ones that was released with the USB. So that's what that is from, but this one is from the A4 pad that you get with this collection. Just thought the two colours played lovely together. Yes. So I'm going to run that through there. And I've got some exciting little bits to go with these that um, I've been having so much fun playing. I mean, the house has got glitter and all sorts of stuff all over it. I've left it in a right old mess, but it looks very pretty. Well, Ben, have tried it. Oh, the house at home? The, yes, the house? Ha no, the house at home, yeah. Uh, oh, hello. Will Ben have tied it up for you? Or oh, absolutely. Will? <laughs> ben loves uh, getting the hoover out and hoovering. Does he? He does. Oh, does he actually? Oh, I don't, he does it every day, so he must enjoy it if he's doing it every day. I wouldn't be doing it every day, can I just say? I, think we've had, I feel like we've had this conversation before, but that's, <laughs> yeah. my, that's my law as well. She's like, I, I almost think that she enjoys... She enjoys vacuuming. Yeah. Because the slightest little bit, I have let limits with cleanliness, but the slightest little bit of fluff or fur off the dog, <laughs> then the vacuum cleaner's out. Yeah. she can't stop herself then, she has to do the whole route. Yeah, I think think because we've got such a big dog and he's, uh, he's molting at the minute, he's losing his, I don't know, he seems to be losing some sort of coat or another every week. Yeah. So there's literally like, um, he walks through the, in fact, if he runs out of the living room, you know in the cartoons when they leave the, <laughs> yeah. the shape of the dog? <laughs> yeah. Literally he runs and there's still a dog there. So, um, it's, and he's, he's crazy. What so. sort of dog is he? So he's a cross between um, a husky, yeah. um, a golden retriever, right. and another really hairy dog. So right. it's like the three hairiest dog breeds is yes. what my dog is. Ah. It's like, so I say to Ben, go get a really small, like, hairless dog. Yeah. And he comes back with the biggest, yeah. most hairiest dog. Mm. <laughs> Men. you got a good... <laughs> <laughs> you got a good vacuum cleaner then, hopefully. We've got a really good vacuum Excellent cleaner, news. thank God. Excellent news. So this is my mask that's cut out. And I'm going to bring in my bronze... Um, metallic pigment 
And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to go around the edges of the mat. And I'm not being too careful. Uh, we're just bunging it on there, literally. So giving it a nice good coverage because we're going to emboss this, heat emboss this. So let me just bring in a piece of spare card. And so I've just got my clear embossing powder and we're just going to tip that all around the edges. And again, I haven't um, used my little dust bag, whatever it's called, the little anti-static oh, bag, bag, yeah. yeah. Um, because this collection lends itself actually to you not being too careful or too precious about the other elements that you bring in to use with it, which is why I love it. Mm. So I'm just going to heat this. I know, we should have one of Jan's here, shouldn't we, permanently? I think it's a one of a kind, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. I don't even think Jan remembers where she bought it from, does she? I think she says that she doesn't want anyone else to have one. <laughs> Do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is something else that I could sit and do and watch all day. The magic of the heat. It's one of those things that never gets old. You know, it doesn't. Definitely not. Right, there we go. So that is my mask that's got that lovely... Um, edging of that bronze now and what we're going to do with this is we're going to we're going to bring in this so this is the Enchanted Dreams Gilding Flakes New. kit. Yes so the last I looked so I did check and it, it was in stock. Good. Because I thought I don't want to have a real good play with it and then you go to the site and it not be there so it was definitely in stock. And just to say as well, this is new because a lot of people bought the Enchanted Dreams full collection and this wasn't in it. No. Um, so it was brought to you for the first time last week. So Perfect. if you haven't yet got this, you can grab uh, the Gilding Flakes kit. And we've also got the um, Chunky Glitter <laughs> as well from this collection, we which have. is available too. <laughs> yes. I can't say the word chunky now without thinking Debbie. No. Chunky. No. And I can't call it 3D or no, whatever. It's not. No, it's not it's chunky, it's chunky glue. glue. It's just got no in fact we should rebrand it. Absolutely chunky glue. right. <laughs> yeah, let's go and speak to Liam. Yes. So what you've got in this, you've got this lovely sponge, you've got the gilding flakes, so be careful when you open these, and you've got the glue. Now if you've played with these before, you'll know why I've just said be careful. But if not, I will go through it with you. Um, so the glue. Now, with this glue, some of the other glues with other gilding kits from other companies, you will get the glue and you will wait till it goes. It goes a bit blue and then that's when you know to put this on. With this, you don't need to just... We're just going to use it. We don't need to wait for it to change colour or anything. Mm. And we're just going to... So I'm just going to put that there. But with my finger or um, a little glue dauber or anything like that, so I'm just using my finger, being careful not to pick these gilding flakes up with that same finger. Yes. Unless you want to be covered in it. Well, you might want to. Well, you might want to. So I'm just getting my tweezers and okay. I'm just taking that out. And you'll find, as you can see there, look, they um, are quite crumple, crumpled up into little lumps. But what yeah. you're going to do is you're just going to take them out a little bit at a time. Yeah. As you can see there, so there's absolutely, just in that tiny little bit, absolutely loads. And we're just going to Ooh. be careful that you don't stick it all over yourself. So we're just putting it, and I'm deliberately not doing it in any particular perfect way. I'm just, so I'm not going to do anything other than to that now. I'm just going to leave that for the glue to dry. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to do it again. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue there. Okay. And not being perfect, just dabbing it out with my finger. Christine Mahoney says, don't sneeze, Michelle. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's... It <laughs> or laugh. <laughs> Go! <laughs> it's so hard for me to try and not talk or breathe or... Or laugh when you're with me, you yeah. know, obviously. <laughs> By the way, do breathe when you're crafting. Yes, I, a, I, yeah, I, I mean, don't advise you not to breathe. Is, yeah, it's a good, good tip for a long life. 
Uh, but you try and breathe a little bit more <laughs> Just a little. shallow. Sha -la 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 when you're <laughs> doing this. Thank so you, George. again, I'm just going to leave that for the glue to dry. Yeah. And then I think just here, I'm just going to put a little bit more. So again, I'm just going to rub that out with my finger. Or a piece of card, you know, just a scrap piece of card if you don't want to keep putting the, your finger in the glue. Yeah. Um, lots of love already coming in. Loving the Masquerade collection, says Mary. Beautiful elements and colours. I've got this collection and I need ideas, says Alicia. Hopefully you'll get them over the next two. Uh, and Laurie says, been popping in and out, took a nice walk in a brisk 17 degrees. I'd love to see what you can do with this collection. Um, right, so we've applied our flakes there. We have. Now what do we do? So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to put that to the side yeah. for one minute mm -hmm. just to let my glue go off or, or dry. And we're just going to... This is what I mean. So I got these out the other day at home and, and I just I blew the little bit that was mm. there and it literally went... What did it so do? yeah, it went. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to bring this in, and I'm just going to cut this out mm -hmm. in a little piece of black card. So just while my little mask is drying. Gilmore says Michelle is awesome with tweezers. Look at her go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, and there's also lots of there's lots of chat about um, shedding dogs as well after our oh. earlier conversation. Terry says our golden retriever sheds so much hair. I'm shocked that she's not bald. <laughs> yeah, no. And, and Gilwa says I have a black border collie slash flat coated retriever mix, and he sheds a puppy every week for 52 weeks. <laughs> yes. Maybe you could bundle up all of the fur if you've got pets and use it in your project. Oh. oh. As a shaker <laughs> element. As a shaker or as a bit of embellishment. You know, you could add fur. texture <laughs> to your projects. Add actual fur. You know, maybe, or maybe not. Ma maybe, maybe we'll pass on that <laughs> one. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> right, so I've just cut out my Celebrate. And then I'm going to bring this back in. And what you're going to do, so this is a nice soft sponge, but um, firm enough mm. that you can just... I'm just gently rubbing and you can see what's glued down is left and then I've got a few little bits. Yeah. So you can probably, like those little bits and pieces can just go back in your tub, can't they? Definitely, definitely. Don't get rid of them. And then... So there we go. So as you can see, um, the way that I put my glue on, it's not perfect, but the, this is the brilliant thing about the gilding, weights, uh, gilding flakes. You can absolutely cover... Um, you know it all with your glue and then this it's entirely up to you but I like the not perfect look mm -hmm. so I've already done a couple as well so bringing all three of those in you can see I've just done little bits and highlighted it with it Gorgeous. and then again so I'm just gonna so on these two I've just edged a little bit with this and I'm gonna do the same Again, not being uniform, not being perfect with it, just having little bits here and there. And this, this is what I said about bringing all your elements in that are perfect for this collection. It just really adds that extra oomph to it. Yes, it does. <laughs> oomph is a good word. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my dotty tape pen and we're just going to put these onto their mats. Oh, me. Christine Mahoney says, Michelle's husband is amazing. <laughs> Ben's oh. watching. Yeah, he he bakes, he cooks, he vacuums, he watches her on shows. That is so <laughs> nice. He's putting us, all us other husbands, to uh, shame. <laughs> he is, I am very lucky. I mean, I must admit, though, it's a good job that he cooks and bakes. I would probably starve to death. Yeah. Does he put up with your uh, your crafty ways as well, your crafty habits? He does. Yeah. He does. He, he, do you know what? He doesn't really moan or complain too much. Mm. Well, not to me. Um, <laughs> it, you know, it might be behind me back. <laughs> but to my face, it's perfect. <laughs> so, just gluing that one on. And as you can see, just against that bronze where it's been embossed, it just really makes it stand out. So it's just all little things like this that really um, take this collection definitely to the next level. 
Masha says, does the glue bottle directions tell you a drying time? They don't know. I don't know if we've got one on the website, um, if there's a drying time on there. It doesn't say on the box either. Mm. Uh, but um, if it, I'm not even sure if it's our tacky glue. I think it might be our tacky glue that's in there. So you literally, um, about 10, 15 seconds is when it goes off, is when it goes tacky. Right. So um, I would imagine that it's roughly the same. But I didn't check, and the reason I didn't check is because I've used, I've been using these for years from other companies, so I sort of knew what to do anyway. Yeah. Um, but just exactly what I just did, just apply the glue where you want it to be, obviously in a thin layer, you don't want big lumps, and then just dab that on. Give it the 10, 15, 20 seconds. I mean, you can leave it a minute. It doesn't matter how long you leave it, because when you come in with your sponge, it's going to wipe off. So if you feel like you need to leave it a minute to make sure... But as you saw, I only left it maybe 15, 20 seconds and it, um, it wiped off beautifully. So so there we go. So there, those are our three masks and we're just going to bob those to the side for now. Ding. <laughs> That's two bobs. I keep meaning to get bobs. the bob belt. I know. You keep forgetting. I do. So we're going to use these and we're going to make a big, so it's an eight by eight. I just thought we'd go big and bold um, with this masterclass today. It's um, a collection that is not small and meek, definitely big and bold. A great word, meek. Yeah, it just came to me that did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm either full of irrelevant words. Yeah. I don't think I've ever used that word in a Meek. <laughs> <laughs> meek. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used it before. But th <laughs> this collection is definitely the opposite of that. <laughs> so just layering. So what I've done with this, so my back piece <laughs> is an 8x8, eight eight, and then this um, pink that is from the kit as well, so that mirror card, um, I've gone down 2 eighths of an inch, but then with the paper, I've gone down one eighth of an inch because I wanted a bigger light pink border, but just that small, thin pink border there, um, just to highlight that paper that's on there. So double fold back, double fold, double gate fold. Yeah, double gate fold we're doing. So again, so I've cut um, two pieces of card, they're eight by eight, well, eight by nine, because I've got my one inch tab. Because I've made such a big one, I didn't have one piece of card big enough. So again, I'm making my own card blank for this. Mm -hmm. So let's just get that under there. And press it down. That's one side, and then I've done exactly the same again, so I've cut a piece that's eight by nine, and that's my one inch tab for the back, and then again, so scored it at halfway, so at the four inches. <laughs> so, perfect. Lovely. So I have deliberately left a gap there, um, when you're making these, you don't have to. Um, again, it's that personal preference for you. So with these bits for the front, so let me just move that a second. Whereas on the back piece, I've used the mirror. On this, the front pieces, I've just used the pearlescent card. And again, so it's from the same kit, but just using more than one of the kind of cards in there, rather than sticking all my mats and layers onto exactly the same. And again, you could be edging these, so how you see me do it with the embossing powders and things like that, you could be doing it with these gilding flakes uh, as well to tie yeah. it all in. So let's bring this in and we'll get those stuck on there. Plenty of love coming in for the colours in this collection. Laura May says, love the colours in this collection. Hannah Law says, I love the papers in this collection. Let us know if you've already got it as well. And um, if you want to send in pictures, you can do. 
Uh, oh, studio yes. Crafters Companion .co .uk. Are we still able to show pictures? Oh, good. Oh, it's like last last time. Yeah, I was going to say last time I asked for pictures, <laughs> we tried to show a picture and I took us off air. No, I, that happened uh, last time. I said let's look at some pictures. We went to go to the pictures and then the whole system crashed <laughs> and we had to start again. So uh, just be careful if we do that, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so just deciding where I'm going to put these on and which order. Um, I mean, I might put them a little bit wonky, I might not. So let's stick this bottom one on first because we don't want this bottom one going below where it's going to be stood or it's not going to stand. And I'm only going to glue one side, mm -hmm. obviously, because we don't want to glue it shut. So that's going to go there. So for this one, I've glued this side on, but for this one, I'm going to glue this side on. So let's go a bit. Oh, yeah, on the wonk a little bit. On the wonk. <laughs> and then, so again, for the top one, I'm going to glue this side. Shadai says, good morning, Lord Ben and Michelle. I'm good late for morning. the show. I was talking with my sister. I told her bye. <laughs> Love I love that. that. Yeah, can't talk right now. Uh, gonna go watch Crafter TV. Bye. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just that is brilliant. That is great. So, um, oh, I need to tape the back, don't I? What are you doing? I was taping the front of it. Oh. So unless you can, you know, read inside out, upside down, and back to front, maybe we'll just glue the back bit. And where's my spare piece of card? Oh, it's there. So just a spare piece of card there that I'm going to glue this onto. And then, there we go. Let's see if I can cut this straight. Do you know sometimes I cut straight perfectly? Yeah. When you want something straight, it goes wonky. And when you want something wonky, it goes straight, doesn't it? Well, isn't it funny how your voice changes when you concentrate? <laughs> <laughs> I normally can't talk when I'm concentrating because I'm sticking <laughs> my tongue out. I've normally got my tongue stuck out, I must admit. So, then we're going to mat and layer this again on there. And it's just a little bit wonky, but that's okay, because I don't think you can see. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's just a little, it's just a little wonky, but that's okay. Just don't come in close, George, yeah, you'll be no, fine. Stay up there. Yeah. <laughs> So that one's stuck on that side. Um, so I think I'm just going to, oh, actually, I might Ooh, like that like hello. that. So we're going to just put that there. So there we go. That is my double, double gatefold. <laughs> double, double toil and travel. <laughs> so showcasing those beautiful, big, beautiful paper in the middle, but having those three masks on the front there. That is a winner, winner chicken dinner. Uh, Georgia the Joystick approves of that one. And I can guarantee one thing today, that um, Michelle will be winning the demo of the day today. <laughs> that is going to happen. Uh, of course, later on, Second Chance Sunday, demo of the show, demo of the day, demo of the week as well. Um, just to say, Annette, hello, Annette on YouTube says, um, is the paper available alone since I already have the stamps and dies? Yes, we have got a smaller collection, which we'll tell you about in just a second. And I have seen the question from Cathy Benoit, who wants to know about the best card weight to use with 3D embossing folders. I think we're going to be talking embossing, or have I made that up? We're we talking embossing folders later on. No, you've totally made that I've up. I've totally made that up. Well, let me ask the question now then, before <laughs> I just quickly go through this collection. I'm all over the place today. Uh, best weight of cardstock to use with 3D embossing folders? So I find that our 300 GSM weight card is a perfect weight, but you can use, so some of our texture card that's about 250, 260, you can use that and that will go through as, as um, just as fine. Just as fine? Just, just as, as fine, as well. yeah. Um, but yeah, I find the perfect one is round about a 300, but again, I think it's a personal preference. Some of you might find that you prefer the 250 going through, um, just have a play with different weights and have a look and see which you prefer, really. Good -o. And uh, by the way, it is a Sunday. If you fancy any Sunday share ads, then do get in touch 
It's here, eh? it's here <laughs> over the course of the show. Betsy on YouTube says, I would like to wish my hubby, Eddie, a happy eight-year wedding anniversary. He got me oh. my first Crafters Companion marker set and supports my crazy CC love, Betsy. So that is uh, Betsy and Eddie, uh, a happy eight-year wedding anniversary. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, the guys in the gallery are whooping and uh, hollering, uh, but if you'd like any little mentions today, get those in. Any questions you want to ask as well, of course, we are available for you. Uh, Linda Vasquez says, I don't have this collection yet, but I'm loving the colours. Well, listen, if you haven't yet got it, it's on a great deal today. This is the deal for the full collection, which I'm about to show you, but you can also br 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 break it down into smaller bundles <laughs> as well. So what am I stuck with? This is going to be fun, right? Because I get to take the lead here, because what we're going to do, Everything I'm about to show you is here, but we're also going to show you the prices individually. So as I bring up items for you, the guys in the gallery are going to be like, ah, what's he showing us next? <laughs> so I'm going to uh, put it all out of order, just a little bit. There we go. And uh, mess it up for them <laughs> to make their life difficult. The first item that you're going to get in this collection is uh, the Celebrate die. Um, so again, perfect for the, oh, hello, hello, they're quick on the draw, look at this, they're right there. Uh, the Celebrate die, a nice little size This I'm obviously going to go through your smaller machines too, uh, and, you know, brilliant for all other collections as well, not just this one. Two thirty nine individually, uh, or $3.96 if you're platinum. Next up, the Chic Chandelier. Are they quick? <laughs> oh, <laughs> done it. Uh, Absolutely gorgeous again is this, so much detail um, in uh, this particular diet and it is yours for £6.39 or $7.96. Bear in mind, as I say, all of these are available in the bundle. Next up, flamboyant feathers, go! Oh quick, that was good, that was good. <laughs> Shortest has gone. I'm the quickest vision mixer in the West. <laughs> <laughs> Quick on the draw, George. That's how I'm going to call you, your new nickname. Uh, the flamboyant feathers are gorgeous for the fact. These are uh, beautiful dies. The detail that you've got um, within the actual uh, main part of the die itself is fantastic. And the two outer dies that we've got here come with outer dies. So again, you can cut out your um, base layer, cut out the detail as well. They're stunning. And again, as you do with like your flowers and your foliage, build up your layers, you can do that with your feathers as well. Seven pounds, 99 platinum, or uh, uh, $10.36 if you're shopping with us in the US. Next up, the elegant mask. Not so quick that time, George, were we? Um, <laughs> uh, that one again is just phenomenal. And um, the, the die that you saw uh, Michelle using just a few moments ago, it's kind of at the center of this particular collection. And if you're making up your own bundle today, you'll obviously be adding that into your basket as one of your purchases. Six pounds 39 or seven dollars 96. Next up, we're ready for the ball with our stamp collection. This again is just all about bringing together all of the different elements of this collection. So the, f uh, the flowers, uh, the masks. Um, I love the fact that peacock feathers feature quite heavily in this collection as well. Love that little mini frame and butterflies too. Beautiful collection on its own. Six elements for £3.99 platinum or $5.56. Next up, shall we dance? Do, 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 do. Um, that beautiful couple there. Perfect for cards, perfect for invitations to parties. Maybe you're thinking about holding your own masquerade ball. Who knows uh, when the world finally does get back to normal. This might be the kind of celebration you're after. Uh, but I love, again, we've got the chandelier running through there. I love the little shall we dance um, motif. And then um, really, really love that musical notation stamp that you've got there too. If you'd like to create your own backgrounds, uh, again, you have got the mask. Hang on a minute. How did you know I was going to pick that one up? You read my mind. They've got the discount in the gallery. We're not just pretty faces. No comment. Um, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> they're going to turn my mic off in a minute. These, uh, again, are absolutely beautiful for the fact that you've got uh, the ability to kind of uh, build up your own sentiments. You've got um, added little embellishments here, like have a ball, true love, masquerade. And I love this here uh, for any of our uh, Francophiles, that's a good word, uh, who know a bit of French, uh, you'll be able to translate this um, this little bit here, which is a beautiful invitation to the ball en Francais. $3.99 or $5.56 is the deal on this one. Next up. 
I saw, I saw on the screen, right? So there's another screen just here that I could look at. And I saw that they had up the details for this. So I switched it round. And you cannot believe what they just called me in my ear. Seriously. Uh, the uh, distressed chandelier. Now, now George, George has just gone. We're meant to be working together here. Yeah, we are. Sorry. Now, I just want to um, tell you about these because, as I mentioned at the top of the show, uh, the embossing folder deals that we've got for you are amazing. Half price deals across a whole range. And these. Uh, embossing folders are also on that half price deal. So if you're building up your own mini bundles today, absolutely get these embossing folders because they are half price. £2.79 or $3.98 for the distressed chandelier. That's a five by seven 3D embossing folder. That price is ridiculous and that price is only applicable up until end of play tonight. And then also um, available at a half price deal is that masquerade mask it's a six by four three d embossing folder once again half price deal two pounds 39 or three dollars 18. just to stress by the way these are amazing deals but you still get the best value for money uh, getting the full collection with 30 percent off but if you're making your own smaller bundles i would say these two absolutely need to go in uh, alongside the mask and then maybe some papers as well. Um, but the embossing folders are a redonkulous deal today. Paper pads, uh, a lot of you have been asking about these. You can get these individually. However, what you might want to do is get the 24 sheet um, paper pad that we've got here with the luxury cardstock as well. I mean, the color palette on these is just stunning. And the flex of foiling that you get as well. Um, I just really think set this paper pad apart from um, you know anything else that we've done before. Lots of people have commented about the combination of colours. Of course, as always, you're going to get the double-sided papers. Um, you are, are with this as well going to have the ability to um, snip into it to create you know your smaller projects if there's just elements um, of these papers that you want to use you can but I mean come on look how gorgeous that is with the flex of foiling what I love for me as well is that you look at that at that angle then flick it forward you see so much more with like the musical notation there um, I, I just think it's phenomenal I mean we could spend probably half an hour chatting about the paper pad but you're going to get um, 24 double-sided sheets this is one of my favorites as well that Michelle used in the last demo with that um, kind of hard Quinn effect going on uh, again more beautiful foiling shall we dance uh, that's your 24 sheet paper pad available individually but also available in this deal that we're showing you here which is also going to bring to you your 25 sheets of cardstock as well uh, so this again luxury card pack you've got uh, again the beautiful colors throughout here matte mirror uh, mi uh, mirror and also your pearlescent cardstock in all the colors that you're seeing on the front there and I know uh, this has been hacked into uh, ever so slightly, but just to give you a bit of an idea of all of the beautiful colours that you're going to get in here. Um, your pearlescent cardstock is double sided. Then you've got that matte mirror and the uh, mirror cardstock as well in all of these stunning, absolutely gorgeous colours. £19.99 or $23.96 is your platinum price. If you're just going for those with a 10% saving, less another 20 if you are platinum. Oh, <laughs> sorry. My watch. <laughs> just says, I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> new, new little toy that I got for Christmas. <laughs> Shh, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> just said, okay. <laughs> He just said, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Freaked out now by that. <laughs> <laughs> Always listening. Um, what are we doing now? Sorry. Oh, the whole collection. <laughs> Details coming up for you. I'm glad it's your turn now. Seriously. £47.99 uh, for the uh, platinum <laughs> price for the full collection. Or oh, $61.85. <laughs> Uh, if you are a platinum member, let me just read a few comments coming through here. Wowzers. Um, Laurie just says, I purchased several pads and associated mirror card packs from this collection. Uh, they are bright and flashy, but not. Uh, oh, what's that word? G A U D? G Gaudy? 
gaudy colours. I know what you mean. They're not too in your face, are they? Uh, they bring a smile to my face on a gloomy, sunny day. Um, Nikon is saying the team today, quick on the draw. Our CTV team is, yeah. Um, the colours in this collection are so gorgeous, says Mary Lee. I love the paper designs, and since the paper is double-sided, there are unlimited possibilities for creating uh, unique cards. Uh, love the stamp collection. Uh, great price, too, says Mary. Um, Pammy on YouTube says, be nice, Ben. I love the Georges. I love them, too. I'm only, I'm only mucking about. They give it, seriously, they give it as good as um, I'm giving it to them, seriously. Non-stop. Um, love the purple, such pretty paper, says Candice. Uh, Mary says, great paper and a card slot deal. And Shadaya says, my Lord Ben, you are a riot. Uh, you're supposed to mute that. I don't, I didn't realise it's, it's the first time it's done that. <laughs> Debbie Robinson's watch has done that previously, but I don't know how you switched that off. So hopefully it won't do it again. Apologies um, for my watch. Shh. <laughs> um, right. I'm waiting for it to say something back. I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, sh shall we go over to Michelle for a demo? I'm not sure I understand. Oh, we're going to anyway. Right. <laughs> Michelle. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it feels a bit like, like we should be curtsying when we're doing this. Yeah, it does um, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. So, this beautiful stamp set, Shall We Dance? So, we're going to have a little play with this one. In honour of Debbie Robinson. Yes. So this is the, the stamps when you get them out. So you've got the beautiful dancing couple, the chandelier and the chair, that little, um, the, what do you call those? The, 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 musical notations. that's it. Thank you very much. The musical notations. Is that, that's what it is, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. So bringing in my stamping platform as always and just some white stamping card. And then we're going to stamp this lovely couple out. So we're going to place that there and we're going to use the chair as well. There we go. So because I'm going to use some of my tri-blends to colour these in, we're going to stamp with my... Sorry, just reaching for it. So my alcohol-proof uh, ink pad. So I'm going to use Noir Black again. And... Tap it all over. Mm -hmm. There we go. A lot of people chatting about my watch now. Christine <laughs> says, uh, that's funny, I got an Apple Watch for Christmas too. I put Minnie Mouse on the cover. I love it. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got Mickey on mine as well. Um, and listen, if I, just, if I just press it, hang on, listen, listen, you can... What's the time, Mickey? It's 3.43. <laughs> Good afternoon. <gasps> I it's love that. Good, it? It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I got it for Christmas. I got one that didn't work and then I ended up sending it back and then I ended up getting the, like, the next level one and spending <laughs> a bit more money on it because I thought, you know, if I can have it. Well, exactly. Well. Have, you, have you got one, Michelle? I did have, um, I had a Fitbit. Oh, yes. But I got a new watch for Christmas, so <sighs> I've not got it on. This one's up more sparkly. I like my sparkle, so. I think a lot of people have got this, but by the way, other watch brands are available. Uh, I think a lot of our guys have got this particular one and they do little challenges and stuff. So maybe I can join in and be uh, part of the <laughs> challenge team. Because I know Joe's got one. Oh, um, Georgina's got one as well, apparently. I know Debbie's got one because her watch is forever going off. Um, yeah, hers has gone off mid-show quite a few times, hasn't yeah. it? It's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with my lavender blend and we're going to do the chair first. And so, as always, I'm going to lay down my lightest first, saturate that card. And then, because it's a nice small stamp, um, you can make it look as if, like I've said before, if you're a beginner and you've got some of these smaller stamps, they're perfect for practicing on because you don't feel overwhelmed just by the smaller stamp, whereas with a big stamp, um, you might do. But for this one, so I've laid all my lightest down, and I'm just going to highlight, because it is only a small one, with the darkest, and then I'm just going to go back in with my lightest. I'm not doing my three blend with this. So just with my lightest, and then I'm going to colour back over it. And again, I'm going to do this. Oh, I've missed a bit of my chair, look. We'll pretend it's there. So again, I'm just going to highlight those bits with the dark and then go back over. 
with my lightest. And then I'm going to come in with my gold brown shades and I'm just going to go over those, I'm going to go in with my mid, those um, dark bits, the wood bits. <laughs> I knew what I meant. So just colouring those in and again I'm not doing the blend because I don't really need to on this little bit. I mean you absolutely could. I'm just colouring them in and trying to talk at the same time. I can talk whilst you colour if you want. <laughs> it's so hard. Coma. It really is. So that's my little chair. And you see, I mean, I haven't done a three blend, a three pen blend, but it still looks fabulous just with that two, two, two shade blend pen something. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> she's going to be wearing the same colour. So we're going to colour... Um, some of her dressing. So again, we're going to go in with the lightest and saturate that paper. And again, um, it's not too big a stamp, so it's quite easy to get your highlighted bits, your shade bits, and not worry that you're not going to get it right because these are just perfect. Um, for making you look amazing. Oh, I like the way you said that. <laughs> Make you look amazing. There we go. So, it's just about um, where you think, so if, if, depending on where you feel that the light is coming from is where it will hit them and is, you know, decide on where you're putting your um, dark bits, your lighter bits. And Nancy would like to know what types of pens you're using currently. Oh, so these are, does she not know about our tri-blends? Oh, I don't know, she wants to know what you're using. <laughs> so, uh, I am using the tri-blend pens. So if you haven't seen these, um, what they are, it's three shades of one colour in one pen. So you've got, so for instance, this is the ice grey one. So you've got the light, the medium and the dark. So you've literally got the three pens are the three shades of one colour in the pen. So it enables you to do that beautiful blend without having to figure out which depths or which shades. So, um, so you sort of number them. So see, you've got ice grey, one through 10. Um, it enables you, they've put it in the pen for you. So you don't need to figure out which ones blend together the best. We've done that for you. You just need to pick up the pen and go for it. Yeah. Yeah, it takes that guesswork away from you. So um, we've done the top of a dress, so we'll do his jacket. So I've done it in an ice, this ice grey. Um, I was going to do him in a, a darker purple to match her, but mm. I saw the grey and yeah. I thought, no, absolutely do that. Mary says, I love that chair stamp, it's so elegant. Pammy, this is one of my favourite stamp sets ever. Yeah. I think a lot of people, out of a lot of, the, we've done some amazing launches, haven't we? I think certainly over the last six to eight months, some amazing collections. We, yeah, we I definitely have. And the majority, I say the majority, lots and lots and lots and lots of people uh, always say how much they love this masquerade ball collection because it's, I think particularly the colour palette is so different to anything else that we've done before. And it's so, it's one of those collections where you could take kind of individual items from it and it's instantly recognisable, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Mm. Definitely. This is, uh, yeah, you see this stamp anywhere and you're absolutely, oh my God, that's from Masquerade Ball. Yeah. Definitely. So where he's, um, is that a lapel? What is that on your jacket called? Yeah, lapel. Oh, look at me. Oh, no, seriously. <laughs> lapel, meek. <laughs> <laughs> it won't last, it's all right. <laughs> so where I'm thinking, those dark bits are going to be, so for well, instance, make it like a proper like, dinner jacket now, with a yeah. detailing. Very nice. Happy accidents. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant to do it. Have you been to a masquerade ball? I haven't, no. Mm. I think Crafter's Companion should have, um, oh, yes. have one. Yes. I think that would be brilliant. Be well up for that. Well, we could create our own masks from this collection. Oh, we? exactly, because there's the mask in there. It'd yeah. Be perfect. Yeah. So, and then I'm just going to go back in with the lightest 
and blend that out. Let us know in the socials as well if you've ever actually been to a masquerade ball. I'd love to know. I've never been to any kind of ball. What? Well, actually, yeah. having said that, I think the only ball I've ever been to was like our leavers ball when I left school. <laughs> which was 30 odd years ago. No, not 30, but you're making yourself sound very old. 20 odd years ago. <laughs> Just the other week. <laughs> yeah, last week. <laughs> so I'm not going to finish colouring that in. I'm going to bring in one that I've already coloured oh, in. Oh, wow. So I just carried on with... Um, so what was I using? I was using the lavender blend. Um, I've done his shirt and their mask to match. I've done... Um, he looks a bit ginger, doesn't he? But he's brown. <laughs> and, and not that there's anything wrong with being ginger, of course. I come from a long line of ginger, gingers. Yep. <laughs> My point was, I used a brown. Just the way you said it. <laughs> so anyway, so that's... And then I've used our stitched um, oval. Oh, yes. Our stitched oval dies to cut that out. And then that's the um, chair as well, fully stamped out for this one. So that's those. And again, so this is the card from the... Um, A4 pack that you the get with these, card, yes. and I've just cut those out in the the bigger stitched oval, and then we'll just take this on. And I picked that colour because it perfectly highlights her dress, and makes it pop beautifully. And then, oh. And again, I did the same with that, just matte and layered with that stitched oval die. So we're just going to pop them to the side for a minute because I've got a lovely card base here for it to go on. And again, um, using all the card and paper from this beautiful uh, collection. So let's just move those to the side for now. Rosalind Russell says, Ben, they are so much fun, masquerade balls. Um, I'm an event coordinator oh. and we've done masquerade anniversary parties for the county. Oh. So much fun. Which county is that, Rosalind? Let us know. Send pictures as well if you've got any. <laughs> yeah. I think we're having some pictures sent through. As I say, it's debatable whether or not we're going to show them or not, but uh, <laughs> we'll have a look. Um, and Rosalind also saying, Michelle is inspiring me to get this collection. Well, Rosalind, listen, if you're an event coordinator and you're coordinating masquerade balls, yes. you absolutely need to get this collection today. It's one of the best collections, in my opinion, that we've done over the last six to eight months. I love it. I think it's absolutely stunning. And the price today... Under £48 if you're platinum, what, just under $62 uh, if you're shopping with us in the US. Um, it's a really great day to jump in and grab it. But, you know, if you can't afford the full collection, you can buy individuals. What I would say to you, and I said it before, if you are going for individuals, get the embossing folders because those are part of the half price deal. Uh, maybe then add in the mask itself and then some papers and you've got yourself a nice little um, sort of starter kit with it as well, which is a great way to go. Definitely. So this is one of the 12 by 12 pieces. And, and like Ben was saying earlier, the snippability factor is brilliant with these. So I've just cut out this piece here because it says the shall we dance, which obviously matches my beautiful couple. So we're going to put this on this beautiful green. Now this again is from the... 12 by 12 pads that we have that go with the um, USB that came out. So it's a nice, it's a 300 GSM um, card stock, which is perfect, obviously, for making your own card bases. And what I've done is, so I've made a six by six card. So it's 12 inches by six. I've scored it at a half and a half again. So you've got that fold back element there. So I'm just going to put this on the front. And... And then we're just going to do something just a little bit different to a normal fold back. So I've got this piece of card. So this is nine by three. And I've scored this at three and a half and six and a half. So when it folds, it's not all the same size. Yeah. But because I'm going to have that in the middle rather than it being a full Z fold. So when I've got it down there, it's going to look like that. So let's just get this. Um, I'm going to put a bit of um, wet glue on it. So I, it gives me that minute to just move it into place. 
So just making sure that I'm going to glue the right side before I carry on. So I'm using the tacky glue because I'm not using a coated card. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to stick better. So. So I always remember me glues. Tacky is good for yeah for coated for like glitter cards as well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Mm. Any card that you've got that's got a coating on, you're going to want to use this. Um, it just is brilliant for. I mean, that's what it's for really. It's brilliant for it. So you will find. So this is a water-based glue, and the other one. So this one is alcohol-based. So when you use that on this you will find that it'll remove the coating. Mm. So especially you'll have noticed if it comes out a little bit, it'll remove your mirror, um, the shine from your mirror card straight away. So you know that that's not the one to use. And because this one's water-based, it's perfect for this. So because I don't need all of that gluing on there, just judging how much to put on. I don't want to glue it shut. And then I'm just gonna fold that over. And before that's fully stuck, I'm just going to open it up like that, oh, yeah. just to make sure that it's level, which it is. So I'm going to close it back, and give it a nice firm press down. And then I'm going to bring this beautiful lady in because she's going to sit on there, on this bit, but she's going to sit on some foam pads, of course. So just judging where my foam pads need to go. I don't want them poking out the side. So, just pop that on there. Ding! <laughs> and then this is going to go on there. And let's just take that down. Lots of love for the shading that you created on the lady's dress as well. Mary is saying gorgeous. The shading gives that sense of movement in her dress. I think, yeah, I think so. And this is what I was saying earlier. Even though I still consider myself a beginner colourist, I'm definitely loving it, enjoying it, and I'm, I think I'm improving. <laughs> I think so. What are you talking about? You're awesome, <laughs> Mrs. Seriously. Thank you very much. Yeah. So this beautiful chair see what what you could have done actually so the snippability factor is i've covered up the shell but what you could have actually done is just fussy cut it out i'm going to bring this stash of um of these nasty <laughs> and oh i think we'll go there Someone suggested. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I, I, I love, love, love the makes that Michelle has put together for you so far in this masterclass. And whilst it is kind of, you know, uh, hats off to uh, Michelle for her crafting expertise. It, it is also down to the fact that you're getting such a wonderful collection here. Um, Candice says, another beautiful make, Michelle. Mary saying, gorgeous, Michelle. And Carletta just saying, I got this set to make a birthday card for my oldest daughter. She has a huge collection of masks. I think... Whichever way you're going with this, if you're jumping in and getting the, the complete collection at a smash down, knock down price of just $59.99 or $77.31, that's £47.99 or $61.85 if you're platinum, or if you're deciding to kind of pick and choose and create your own little mini bundles, you're going to get a fantastic deal today. And as I said, if you this is the best value, right? Because you're getting 30% off the full bundle. However, if you do choose to uh, pick and choose, definitely add the 3D embossing folders into your own little mini bundle because you're going to get those on a half price deal. I'd also say to you potentially um, add in the um, the mask as well uh, because that's kind of obviously the, the, the focal point for this collection um, and then some of your paper too. So however you're going, however you're kind of building up your own basket or if you're going for the full collection, you'll have a lot of fun with this. One of the best collections we've done as far as I'm concerned. We're going to give you time to check out your baskets right now. Lots of unchecked baskets. We'll come back with more hints to tips and demonstrations in just a few moments time but for now head to the checkout and we will be right back welcome to crafters tv with more than 35 hours of live shows each week it's your home for all things craft we shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day 
quiet. Oh, the neighbors. <laughs> I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Welcome back. Um, if you have just joined us, by the way, if you tuned in for the first time this Sunday, hello. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely Sunday. And um, <laughs> I hope that you are, uh, whatever you're doing, you're having a great time. I just need to reiterate, if you have just joined us, today is the last day to take advantage of the deals on our half price embossing folders, um, two of which we've got on the show, of course, but it's a great opportunity for you to try embossing folders for the first time. We have 50% off select embossing folders on our website. Um, we've had a lot of sellouts, that much I will tell you, but there are still lots of deals available for you now. And also just to say, uh, for our US viewers, um, yesterday, of course, we had the big US uh, warehouse clearance on Totally Tiffany goodies. There are still items available for you at the prices that we had yesterday, uh, but those will be fast disappearing. Um, a, because we'll put the prices back to where they should be, or B, um, stock will disappear. We had so many sellouts yesterday, but make sure you shop the web for those. For our UK viewers, who perhaps love Totally Tiffany and they're, you're thinking, oh, well, I didn't get a chance to get those deals. We have got some amazing deals coming up on Totally Tiffany goodies for you a little bit later on in Second Chance Sunday. Two things that I think you need to look out for. One of those is the um, Totally Tiffany deals that we've got coming up, but also we are bringing back, due to popular demand, due to the fact that I went <laughs> knocking on a few doors, <laughs> and uh, said I want to bring back the deal that we had from uh, earlier in the week or last week on the craft kits where we had a six craft kit bundle 37 to 42 buy three get three we're going to bring back that deal for you on second chance Sunday and I will show you through the boxes <laughs> that uh, we didn't show you through last time I mean Georgina you are Georgina's saying aren't we lucky Ben what would we do without you I don't know you probably cry yourself to sleep most nights <laughs> thankfully I'm here 
four days a week. No, there wouldn't be tears of joy. <laughs> to see the, uh, it's outrageous behaviour. Uh, let's move swiftly on. I'm way above jibes like that. <laughs> uh, illustrators. All right, so um, kind of be happy a little bit earlier on. We're talking lots about all of the different um, pens that we do within our Spectrum Noir range. Illustrators, if you love um, to have those uh, Japanese brush nibs, if you love also to have uh, the ability to kind of get real fine detail as well, you've got the best of both worlds with the illustrators. Alcohol-based pens, of course, um, these are perfectly brilliant for doing things like that flicking technique, for doing things like um, skim tones, for doing things like um, fur. If you want to really be able to colour like an illustrator, then these pens are absolutely for you. As you can see, double-ended um, alcohol uh, ink pens with the brush nib one end and with the ultra-fine nib the other. You're going to get the um, four sets here, well, 48 uh, marker pen collection in all of these different colours. Um, put your glasses on, Ben. I'm really in need of my glasses today. Do you have days when you find that you need your glasses more than others? Yeah. Today is one of those days... I am tired, Georgina. I am. <laughs> I had a busy day yesterday. I had warehouse clearances. I had HSN previews. I didn't stop. <laughs> and I'm back in again this time. <laughs> um, no, you're going to get your um, pens. <laughs> <laughs> Figure. You're also going to get landscape, so your greens, your browns, you've got blues and greys in there as well. Then you've got your sketching colours, so um, more, I would say, of your primary colours there. And then you've got your seascape as well. So 48 <laughs> pens in total, dual tipped uh, with the brush marker one end and then that super fine uh, nib at the other. That's a lovely deal today, £63.19 if you're platinum, $114.39. Now, the ink pads that we've got on the show, we have specifically brought these onto the show simply for the fact that the colours that we've got in this collection are going to work perfectly with the Masquerade Ball collection. Um, these are your opaque pigment ink pads. So again, if you like to do your blending, these are perfect to go for. And also very good um, if you like to do your embossing techniques too, because obviously you've got that um, open time on these. These are going to stay uh, wetter for longer, so you can do all of those different techniques. You've got 10 different colours in this collection. You're going to get orange, straw pale, Plum Jam, Fuchsia, Ocean Blue, <laughs> Damson Wine, Crushed Velvet, Parakeet, <laughs> Oasis, Mad for it. And uh, also, <laughs> you've got Honey Pot in there as well. So, um, 10 lovely colours, um, 10 colours that are going to allow you to do um, all of that blending uh, and all of that embossing as well. And they work beautifully with the colours that you've got within the Masquerade Ball collection. So, a perfect partner to add into your basket. Next up, let's talk stamping. Um, and you know what, if you ask somebody, maybe you bought some of the deals earlier on, um, on Colour Me Happy, we have lots of um, stamp deals there. If you want to get the very best out of your stamping, um, then, well, in our opinion, A, you need to have a stamping uh, mat, Michelle, don't you? And then you, yes. uh, and if you've got a stamping platform, in this case, the six by six, it just makes life easier for you, doesn't it? Oh, it really does. Mm. It is just as, well, it's different to the bigger one, but yeah. just as, just as good. I've got this one as well. And the stamping mat I use for so much more than just mm. stamping on as well. So, I think in an ideal world, you'd have um, all of the different sizes of so the um, 4x4, 6x6 and the bigger 8x8 stamping platform, magnetic platform. But these are brilliant, again, for the fact that you've got the ability to, um, to line everything up on the platform itself. You've got those um, little spring feet too, so you can get a really, really good impression each and every time you use it. But it's also great for kind of positioning stamps perfectly onto a particular project. Uh, so I think it's great for that. And of course, um, the um, stamping mat um, again, it just gives you that, well, it, it gives you that c cushion from underneath almost, doesn't it? It is, so you've got yeah. the cushion on the top and the push on the bottom. Yeah, well, that's what you need. Because if, if you notice with our stamping platform, um, the base does move. I mean, I've got it here, so I'll quickly show you. Yeah. Oh, can't reach it. I'm too sharp. So if you can see, you've got, oh, you can't see, but you can see, well, you probably can hear that I'm pressing that yeah. down. 
and that that takes place to the the stamping mat that you've got over there so whichever one you're using you need that give because if you're going to stamp onto something hard you're not going to get a clear you're not going to get a clear image but when you've got that soft underneath it takes it just takes your stamping to the next level it enables you to get get that nice clear crisp stamped image £12.72 is your platinum price there uh, for your 6x6 stamping platform and your mat or $15.92. And one other thing just to bring to your attention is the um, storybook die set. Now, uh, th this is a lovely um, set on its own, actually. The price is amazing today. 20% saving, less than another 20% if you're platinum. Um, so you've got the ability here to be able to um, create your own little um, storybook. It also comes with a, um, a stand as well. You've got your little um, uh, tags, a little key there too. I think this would work brilliantly with the Masquerade Ball Collection, wouldn't it? Oh, it absolutely would. I love this, uh, this die set. I use it all the time. In fact, one of our design team members, Caroline Weir, um, she makes the most amazing projects with that. And I saw her projects about a year or two ago and I was like, I need that. And it wasn't in stock. And then all of a sudden it came back in stock like it just does now. And I absolutely grabbed it because when you can see what kind of projects you can make with it, it's an absolute must for your kit, definitely. Yeah, you've got your fleur-de-lis in there, your bookmark tag, the key, the actual book stand, and then, of course, you've got all the book pages that you can make with this as well. So, yeah, create your own little storybooks. I almost see this as well as a great um, thing for maybe weddings, for example, for table settings. Yes, perfect. Um, you know, so many different things you can do. Back in stock with a 20% saving, less your 20% if you're platinum. That is £15.99 or $25.50. 57. Right, uh, we are what into the final 45 minutes of a biz biz busy show. Uh, Mary just saying that story book set is wonderful. I love this set as well, says Pammy on YouTube. Um, keep the comments coming through. Any more questions you want to fire our way as well, you can do. And I think if we uh, we are getting some pictures sent through. Oh, George with the joystick says the pictures are ready as well. Now, can I just say? Uh, before before we show the pictures, I am not taking any responsibility for the fact I want to see your pictures. I want to share your pictures with everybody else. But <laughs> if we at this point disappear off uh, the uh, the network, it's not my fault. <laughs> George says he's going to take full responsibility. So uh, here we go. Fingers crossed, everybody. Let's have a look at these pictures. Are we still on air? Yes, we are. <laughs> um, Lacietta. Wow, this is stunning. That's this is beautiful. What, that's the, is that the panel dies? It is, isn't it? Yeah, the ornate screen. Ornate screen, rather, yeah. Using the um, element of the mask there as well. I love that. That's so beautiful. That is stunning. Um, Cheryl, how cute is this? I love that. Just peeking through the window. Yeah. That's I, fabulous. It reminds me uh, a little bit, that shot there, of Home Alone. Yes. Do you know what I mean? When he's dancing <laughs> all the different people yeah. around the room. <laughs> I love that effect. That's so cute. And then we've got, uh, oh, again, so, oh. so a slightly different take on this. Oh, it's this. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I see. So slightly closer so you can see the couple easier. Yeah. Love it. Um, really, really cute. Love that with the mask and the feathers uh, adorning it too. Brilliant stuff. Thank you for sending in those pics. Uh, feel free to send in a few more. Now we know that uh, we're not going to break the internet when we show <laughs> the pictures. I uh, feel confident that we can show more of yours as well. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Let's get back though to the Masquerade Ball collection and we're going to uh, have a look at another demo with our Michelle. What are you going to be looking at next? So for this one, we're going to use those beautiful flamboyant feathers. And again, we're going to bring in that mask because that mask is just way too much fun not to use. <laughs> so what we're going to do... Oh, Debbie's been at my eyes again. Debbie! <laughs> so two of these feathers have the mat behind it and then one is just as it is. So what I'm going to do to start with, so I'm going to use those two. So I'm just going to move... Bob those over there for now. Ding. <laughs> and again, I'm just going to bring in that mat for the mask. And I've got a piece of card here, and it is eight by six and a half. So what we're going to do with these, in fact, I'm going to bring this one in as well. So I've got my piece of card, and I'm going to bob these on here. Ding. <laughs> and I'm going to... Have it. Um, so we're going to make a shaker card. Yes. So I don't want these too close to the edge. 
So we're going to have these all as if they're coming up and off the mask. So happy with that. So let me just find my tape. Oh, here it is. Bear with me. Right. Let me just find the edge now. Just give me a minute. Why can you never find the edge straight away when you need it? I would say to um, our lot at home, to do that sticky tape as well, just when you finish using it, just fold over at the end. Do you yes, know what I mean? Just yeah. fold over the end so you should never have that problem again. It's most frustrating, isn't it? One of life's <laughs> yeah. little frustrations. It really is. <laughs> oh, so I've just moved that a little bit. Let me move it back. So because of the kind of shaker card that I'm going to make, I don't want my, all my elements too close to each other. So just so taping them down, obviously, to keep them exactly where I want them. And obviously, well, not obviously. So I'm, I've got more than one die on, so I would always tape them anyway to make sure that they don't move going through the machine. Because if they do, you're going to end up damaging. Um, if one lays over the other, you're going to end up damaging your um, cutting blade on the, the dies mm -hmm. and you don't want that. You don't want a blunt die. No, it won't work. So, <laughs> so just running this through and these are all small enough that they'll go through your mini. I, I'm not sure on the mask actually but your feathers will go through your mini so you don't feel like you're having to run your plates through just for little elements. So let's pop that off. Very gently. So that is my top piece for now. So I'm just going to, again, so what I want to do is I'm going to let me just clean these two dies out. So I'm just going to run it through and get uh, cut out a few feathers. Beth just said I can't put my dies away without removing all of the bits. No. Um, I, I, as I say, for the, the crafting that I have done at home, I find it one of the most rewarding <laughs> points, removing all the bits out of the It really is. Die. I think sometimes, though, yeah. um, especially up here, I think we, we do a demonstration and we just put them to the side and think, oh, we'll clean them after the show. Yeah. And then don't, basically. <laughs> well, the thing is, no because excuses. You, because there's so many different shows that we obviously set for. I think if you set something to the side and then you haven't done it, they can get taken away, can't they? Yes. Like Jake or Tracy or John. That's uh, it, yeah. So it's all very well-meaning, I think, but sometimes you just don't get around to doing it. No, definitely not. Surely there's not uh, people watching at home who uh, you know, purposely put their dyes back into their packets <laughs> and haven't no. cleaned them out? Surely. Oh, we would hope not. <laughs> So and then again, I suppose it doesn't matter if that's you at home. Well, you're yeah, if it's yours, them. yeah. So I've just pulled in a few different colours um, and finishes from the, again, that amazing paper pad, the A4 pack that we've got in there. And again, because I'm putting more than one through, I'm going to tape them all down. And just deciding what I want to go where. So, where's my other one? Oh, it's there. There it is. I thought it were hiding, but it's not. Isn't it oh, funny how sometimes it's right in front of your face and you can't see it? In life in general. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in every aspect, in every sense of that word. Yeah. did that the other day when I was feeding the dog and uh, Laura said to me, oh, there's a tin open in the, uh, in the fridge. Went to the fridge, didn't see it. Opened up another tin. What are you opening up another tin for? There's one in the fridge. There isn't. Opened it up. There it was right in front of me. <laughs> oh, no. I'm always getting wrong at home. Oh. I told you, didn't I, the other day when I was building the guinea pig hutch? <laughs> yes, I couldn't did. work out. Because it was one of those, you know, just slot it all together, screw it all in place. And I, on the diagram, it, 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 it sort of, I, I had it the right way round. There was like a, a, a door there and like a see-through door there. And I, I couldn't work out, like, the doors were opening inwards and I was like, well, that's ridiculous. They shouldn't open inwards, they need to open <laughs> outwards. And I was thinking, I, c I can't work out any other way to put this on to make the doors come that way. So I just left it, screwed it all together. Then Laura came out. I said, this is a really weird design fault. I said, the doors open inwards, but they should definitely open outwards. But there's no way of actually putting this on the right way around so the doors open outwards. And she just went, just flip it over like that. 
<laughs> and I was like, oh, no. Isn't it funny when you, like, you just get so stuck in a way of thinking that you can't, you can't see the wood for the trees. Is that the right saying? Yes, yeah, yeah. it is. Right. So, <laughs> this is DIY my, dilemmas. This is my top piece. So I've got my piece of acetate there as well. So we're just going to... I had to pre-tape it because I couldn't find it. So I forgot to put my little uh, label on this time to tell me where it was. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do first. Um, I have got so a piece of this beautiful card here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's 82 by 66. So it's just layered. Um, so it gives it that lovely border around. So I'm just going to hold that on there for a second because... I'm just going to place these through and so I'm doing it before I put my acetate on so when I um, put these on I know that they're going to be exactly where I want them so once I've got the top pieces on so I'm going to go in with uh, my dotty tape pen and tape these up carefully so because these are going to be inside my shaker I do want to make sure that all my edges are quite well glued down so just layering that where it's going to go again and then I'm just going to place this through I mean it only has to be it's roughly it's just so I when I've got um, the acetate on the top so you can see exactly where they are so that one's going to go there and again making sure all my edges are glued down so when I put either my sequins or that beautiful chunky glue you could use they're not going to get stuck underneath or stuck to your glass mat mm -hmm. so that one's going to go there and I'm going to do exactly the same with the other two dotty tape pen again just adjust that so you know it's exactly where you want it to be and then layer that through I'm going to have to lift that up. There we go. It's so just there. So last one, this beautiful, um, I'm going to say blue, but it's like a purple, isn't it? It's like a Cadbury purple, this one. Oh, yes. Chocolate box purple. Yeah. yeah. So again, just going to bob that on there. <laughs> and put that there. So what I'm also going to do now is... I'm just going to run my finger over to make sure that there's no bits of glue coming through because once you put your sequins in, they are going to stick to it if there's still little bits of glue um, hanging about. So this is my top piece. So we'll just move that for now. And we're going to use, dare I say... No. Go some, on. Some long foam <laughs> was some, it really cool some foam on a roll foam on a roll foam on a roll <laughs> foam on a roll foam on a roll foam on a roll hey <laughs> only the third one of the year as far as i'm aware i don't think that will ever get old i enjoy <laughs> um, it every single I time think, i think it depends who you are well yeah yeah i enjoy it every single time i do no eye rolls from me. Oh, who I? No, I know who I rolls. <laughs> Does he not do his little song anymore that he used to have back in the day? Joe's little shaker no. card song. Oh no, he hasn't. Not does for he not, ages. No, he not? no. Right. So what I'm going to do is, so I am going to bring in. I'm going to use four different lots of my sequins. So I'm not going to mix them all up. I'm going to make four different compartments. So I'm oh, going to okay. use my um, shaker foam. Yeah. Is it shaker foam? It is, isn't it? So I'm just going to uh, compartmentalise okay. everything. Now that is a clever idea. So you can have the different colours in each of the in different compartments. In each different compartment, yeah. Love that idea. So making sure they're all nice and firm down. So, making sure that all my walls are touching each other or they are going to uh, come through. 
I don't think I've seen a card like this before. No. I think I, I've seen similar with the um, in the cutting emboss folders that we had with the uh, the different apertures. I yeah. saw something similar with that, but not a card that you've created yourself um, with that effect. So that's really clever. So, thank you very much. So, the, you can, as you can see, all four of my compartments are separate now. Um, if you wanted to make sure that... So if you didn't want to put a lot of your sequins in, can you see better? What you could do is you could put another piece of foam across there so you know, and there, um, you know that it's just sat right there. So if you've only got a few sequins left, you can absolutely do that because then you're still going to see them rather than them sitting down here. So in fact, I think we will do that on that one. So then I know, let me just angle that. So I know that when I put them in, they're going to be sat right next to the aperture. So what we're going to do is, what should I do first? No, I'm going to take, or no, I'm not actually. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm just talking myself through it so I can explain it to you. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave my backing um, carrier sheet um, thing in my bob on there for now because what I'm going to do is so before I do let me just um, I just want to um, I'm a bit curved oh I don't just want to throw it on the floor so I wanted it a bit so it was a bit curved so I've just flattened it a little bit so when I put my sequins on they're not going to go everywhere so then just decide where you want each colour so I think I'm going to put green there and this is what I meant about moving the glue um, to make sure that obviously when you put these in, they don't stick. Unless that's the look that you're going for. And uh -huh. then that's absolutely fine. Leave that bit of glue. Yeah. And they will stick there. So just putting my sequins just on the feather, just on them. So which is two, two reasons why I did this. One, because it looks pretty, and two, I know exactly where I need to pour my sequins for them to be in place for when I put the top piece on. So pouring these last ones there. So this is why I haven't taken the backing off yet. So I'm just going to put it on and make sure that everything is exactly where it needs to be. That just needs to come in a little bit. And as soon as you touch a sequin, they all stick to you and fling off everywhere. So that is absolutely perfect. So without knocking that, we're going to take all this tape off. Just waiting for the final construction of this, but I'm picturing this in my mind's eye and I'm thinking this could be the uh, the DOS. Ooh. Maybe the D maybe the DOD. Well, at least I know I'm going to win <laughs> yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When it's me all day, I'm guaranteed to win. And see, this is another thing I love doing. I love peeling the backing off this. Oh dear. Yeah. I uh, little. Um, not mundane tasks, but um, just little things like this. I just love... It's like when you get your acetate and you peel that... Um, oh, the, the, the film off it. Yes. Or when you get something new for Christmas mm. that's got that film on it that yeah. you have to peel it off. <laughs> While away the hours with Michelle, <laughs> while she enjoys peeling film off acetate, <laughs> taking the back off the foam and <laughs> cleaning out her dyes. <laughs> no, I'm with you all the way. <laughs> I am with you all the way. So, just excuse my head a minute while I make sure that I'm getting this right over. Oh, there's so there. many comments coming through now, uh, anticipating this. Oh, do you know what I ain't done? What you know, what you done? I ain't put my acetate on. Ah. Uh, How can I even do that? So, do you know what we're going to do? Got time to... We're going to put it over the top. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll put it over the top because. <laughs> Will all of the will, will all of the um, will all of the bits and pieces not just maybe go everywhere? They maybe. will, won't they? They will. Ah, so is I it tell not, you, is it no, too late to unstick it. It is too late to unstick it. That's well and truly stuck down. Ah. So um, I tell you what we'll do. Da da. <laughs> yes. <It's, laughs> I can't believe I forgot my acetate. <laughs> 
So it was going all because it's because it was all going so well. So there's my show. So what I've done is I've just added extra feathers to the outside, um, just some fabulous ribbon that I found in my stash, and there you've got. So what I tell you what I've done with there as well. So again, all I've done is I've got my red liner tape, just the three mil one. I've just put a piece down each side, peeled it off and I've used my glitter. So just some glitter that I found in my stash just to edge it off with because I felt there was too much white there. So I edged it off with that and then there you go. So onto a, um, just a black tent fold card that I made out of our black card that we've got. And that is my um, shaker card. Shaker card. <laughs> um, just... Phenomenal. There have been some stunning makes, not just on this show, but certainly earlier on as well. Um, it's going to be a tough vote uh, for a demo of the show, which we'll do in just a little while, uh, and then demo of the day later on as well. Uh, scrap Paper Scissors on YouTube says, lol, I was wondering about the acetate. I was too busy gassing on to even notice, to be honest with you. Um, love the colours of that card, says Gwen Terry on YouTube. And Rosalind says, beautiful card, Michelle. Uh, you made it hard to decide uh, the card of the day. Yeah, it's going to be down to you guys very shortly. Uh, Shadaya saying, wow, Michelle, uh, that frame looks stunning. And Tony on YouTube, hi, Tony, says, loving this card, coming together so nicely. I love all the colours from these paper pads. I might have to get it. Uh, Mary saying, such a clever design. And Terry Anderson saying, I love that song, Foam on a Roll, hey. Now, uh, if you are like Tony, thinking about grabbing this today, then it's a good day to be buying because the deal is amazing. You're saving almost 27 pounds, almost, uh, well, just over $33. Platinum members, another 20% off. The best value for money, a 30% saving is yours for the full bundle. However, what we're gonna do as we go through this, we're going to flash up the details for the individuals. So everything I'm about to show you is in this bundle, but you can get them individually and make up your own mini bundle should you wish. So let's go through everything that you're going to get. And I won't muck about this time, guys. So we all do it nice and professionally, I promise. <laughs> so first up is your Celebrate die, the Ornate Celebrate. Um, £2.39, $3.96 if you are a Platinum member. Next up, well, by the way, this isn't the same order that we did it in last time because I'm going back to front and upside down. So apologies for that. This is Masquerade Sentiments. Um, so again, with this one, you get a selection of different um, stamps so you can create your own backgrounds. You can add added little embellishments. Um, love the Harlequin um, stamp there. Again, stamp that out multiple times, make your own background. Love the feathers that you've got and really, really beautiful sentiments with this too. That is £3.99 or $5.56 if you're a Platinum member. Shall we dance? Da -dum 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 is next. So this is the um, stamp set that Michelle used on one of her demos a little bit earlier on with that dancing couple. You've got the uh, gorgeous uh, chair and fan and chandelier in there as well. Uh, that one, £3.99 or $5.56 if you're platinum. Uh, six elements in there. Next, we are ready for the ball. Uh, again, beautiful. Uh, the mask with the feathers, there's butterflies. Love the little peacock feather that you're going to get in this collection as well. So um, if you've got any of our um, peacock collection, of course, this is going to absolutely perfectly roll into that one as well. £3.99 platinum or $5.56. Then we move into our dies. Uh, you know, this one is the kind of staple point for the collection, isn't it? So if you are making up your own little mini bundle, I would imagine that you're going to go for your elegant mask die. Of course, you've got the, um, the outer die for the base and you've got the inner die for all of that gorgeous detail. Um, it's a nice sizable die as well as you can see for six pounds and change or just under eight dollars uh, that's a must if you're making up your own little individual bundle the flamboyant feathers again seeing these being used today love the fact that you're going to get five in total so you've got that little central die there which comes on its own but the two outer dies uh, you've got the uh, inny and the outy so again you can create your own uh, layer and then you can get the detail on top there as well uh, that is seven pounds 99 or ten dollars 36 if you're going individually uh, the final die in the uh, collection is the chic chandelier six pounds 39 or seven dollars 96 now also available individually and um, this is what i mean when you build up your own little mini bundle you absolutely definitely need to add in the 3d um, embossing folders because these have fallen under that umbrella deal that we're doing over the weekend of half price deals on selected embossing folders 
£2.79 for a 3D embossing folder if you're platinum or $3.98. This is amazing. It's 5 by 7 3D, that gorgeous distress chandelier. You absolutely definitely need to grab that one if you're going for smaller elements from this collection. And the other one that you need to grab, which is also on the half price deal, is the Masquerade Mask. Uh, and again, half price two pounds and change three dollars 18 cents if you are a platinum member deal uh, of the day right there if you're asking me six by four uh, and again that is a 3d embossing folder not your standard 2d a lot of people as well are adding extras in as far as our cardstock is concerned now you can get these individually uh, they are also available in a uh, double deal where you get the 24 sheets of your 12 by 12 and then the 25 sheets of cardstock in here as well so um 10 percent off the bundle so you're going to get 25 sheets of the um, mixed luxury card stock. So you get all of these gorgeous colors um, in the matte mirror card, mirror card, and then that pearlescent as well. So that's 25 sheets. And then you're also gonna get, uh, well, possibly the most beautiful um, paper pad that we've done um, in the last few months. Double-sided, of course, for more versatility, but look at all of the beautiful colors that you're going to receive in this collection. The flex of foiling on there are just phenomenal, but it, it's stunning. Plenty of opportunity for you to snip into that. Plenty of opportunity for you to do those bigger projects as well. Uh, but you can go for both of these for that price on screen right now, £19.99 or $23.96 if you're a Platinum member. Uh, those, again, available individually. We've just um, bunged up the, uh, the double deal for you where you get both of those uh, for that low price. However, the best way to go, if you absolutely have fallen in love with this collection for the uh, first time, maybe you've seen it for the first time today, you're going, I want it all and I want it now, then there you go. That is the full collection. It's a 30% saving for everyone today and this is the best way to be able to get it um, you know you get everything that I've just shown you for $59.99 or $77.31 less your 20% if you're platinum also worth pointing out again I know we've got so many new viewers watching us currently if you are new if you've not yet signed up to Club Inspire then make sure you do because sign up with your email need your uh, you come up with a little password you'll get 20% off your first order as well. So that price that you see on screen will be the price that you pay today. And also worth bearing in mind, 250 points you'll get, which will automatically make you a bronze member. And then uh, because you've made your first purchase, all Club Inspire members who purchased in January will get a further 250 points added to the their account in February. So that in my mind automatically makes you as a new customer, a silver member from February, which means you'll be saving 10% off all future orders. Lots of love coming in. The collection is so awesome says Gwen Terry I love it uh, and Mary Lee says uh, to Michelle don't feel bad Michelle about your shaker card I was doing a Christmas shaker card uh, and was trying to do four at once and I didn't put the acetate on and didn't realize uh, until I put the first one together we, we, we all make these crafty mistakes. It happens, doesn't it? It happens. Yes, yeah, um, too much chatting, not is, enough paying attention. That is. Are <laughs> you looking at me or are you saying that about yourself? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, we are going to review what we've just done over the last half hour. And whilst we do that, uh, we need you to go to the checkouts. Now is the time to do that. We'll come back with more inspiration and the vote for the demo of the show. Going to be a tough one. Uh, we'll come back in just a couple of minutes or so. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. 
So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Put away your tape measure and fabric scissors the Threaders Fabric Cutter offers accuracy and precision with every cut. This handy tool slices through fabric in a guillotine style. Its ergonomic design features a comfortable and protective handle, so it's safe and easy to use whether you're right or left-handed. Its 45 millimeter rotary blade will cut up to six layers of fabric at a time, so your sewing, quilting, and upholstery project times are cut down to size. It's equipped with a measuring guide in metric and imperial for a perfectly accurate cut every time. The built-in grid ruler has 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree angle lines, so you can cut fabric on any angle, including the bias. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Oh, I like that slow fade in that we did there. That was nice, that, it's very dramatic. Um, we're very busy right now for this collection and uh, I realise we've only got about 15 minutes left on the show. So what we're going to do is squeeze in one final demonstration and then we will do the vote on the uh, demo of the show. It's going to be an interesting one. So uh, let's gas in from me and let's get back to the crafty side of the studio. What can you squeeze into the next sort of seven or eight minutes, Michelle? We can squeeze in some more fabulousness, I think, um, with this amazing chic chandelier. And then I've got this lovely masquerade sentiments with me as well. So this chandelier, again, it's a nice, good size um, piece. I'm oh, just looking for my pokey tool. How can I lose something that's got a huge, big wooden handle on it? <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me one second. Easily done. How? It's do, huge. How has it gone? Do you know what it is? And I said this yesterday to Sarah because she was losing bits and pieces. Craig's had a tidy up back there. He has. Uh, and what it is, I think, is the fact that it's so tidy, everybody's thrown. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah. normally it's like an organised mess, isn't it, behind it that is craft It is organised chaos. So, and everyone kind of knows where to go with it. But the fact that it's all been tidied up and everything's been put in nice, neat little rows and everything has been uh, nicely lined up, yeah. uh, nobody can find anything. Have it's, you found it? I've, oh, yeah, no, I've, I've found something else. Oh, that okay. will do. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this out with some um, black card. So I'm just going to tape that on. And then, again, I've just got a few of these pieces here and I'm just going to pop these feathers again on there. And again, obviously, I'll tape them all down. I'll throw some across the room, we'll tape <laughs> some down. <laughs> there we go. So let's run this through. And... So just the colours in this card pad are just like no colours I've seen. The proper like jewelry colours, is that even a word? But you know Julie like colours, I know. emeralds mm -hmm. and rubies and precious stones. I like jewelry colours better. Jewelry colours. <laughs> Michelleisms. Yes. Precious stones even. Um, yeah, but that's it, you see, you all know what I mean. <laughs> So just pull these off there. Right, so just going to leave them there for now because what I'm going to do is we're going to take this off and I'm going to pop that out 
And again, look how beautifully it just um, cuts through there. So what we're going to do is, I've already cut three out, and this is my fourth. I want it to be a nice, um, bold, big statement piece. Yeah. Here it is, look. So, I'm just putting it on with my dotty tape pen, and again, being careful for all those little uh, dangly bits and the chandelier. Chandelier. And then the chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sometimes just... Words are just too hard sometimes. It's so many <laughs> words. Um, AJ says, I can rarely find anything when it's put away. Talking about your pokey tool. Oh, yeah. Gilmore says, I can find stuff in my organised mess. It's when it gets put away that I can't find anything. Yeah, that's it. Never a true word spoken there. Mm. So there we go. So you can see how thick that is. So yeah. I think that's four or five on there. And... Just going to poke that little bit out there. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to bring in our watermark um, translucent, this nice clear one, because we're going to, we're just going to emboss it. We're just going to emboss it clear. So I still want it black, and but I want it all embossed. <laughs> <laughs> so it also makes it look like a, an enamel topper. Yeah. So I'm just literally just putting that all over. And I'm going to go in with this. So putting that all over there. And I'm just going to use my tweezers just to bring it out. Give it a tap. And as you can see, it's covered that beautifully. Now this is where I will double or triple emboss. Mm. So um, just embossing it, heat embossing it once looks amazing, but when you do it two or three times, it really, really pops. And three is always the maximum, isn't it, with your embossing? I think so. I think if you go any more, you end up, it can peel off. Yeah. So I wouldn't go any more. I always remember it because it's triple cooked chips are the nicest. Yes. So triple embossing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the, way, that's the way I remember it. Yeah. Triple cooked chips, triple embossing. And that, that's how I'll remember it now. <laughs> the rules I live by. <laughs> what time is it? Uh, East Coast. It's, oh, it's coming up to lunchtime, isn't it? East Coast. Breakfast time on the West Coast. Any, anyone there uh, got any nice plans for a nice bit of dinner today? Sunday dinner? Oh, yeah. Do you guys in the US, like, do you do, you have, do, you do Sunday dinner like we do Sunday dinner over here? Because like Sunday dinner is like a, a big thing, isn't it? Here, you know, with your your, your roast dinner, whether you have your roast beef or your roast, uh, you know, chicken with your Yorkshire puddings. Is it is it as big as a thing in the US? I wonder. Genuine question. Let me know in the comments. What you got for uh, dinner? You were eating porridge earlier on, weren't you? At about um, two o'clock. <laughs> what well, my breakfast? <laughs> well, breakfast at two. <laughs> yeah, wow. I can't eat breakfast on a morning. Yeah. Can't do it. So there you go. So I'm just going to do it once, obviously for time. But if you, all you would do is, so you would get your pad again, and you obviously just let it cool for a minute. Um, just go back over it. Put your embossing powder back over, and that two or three times really, really makes it pop. So we're just going to move that to the side for now to to cool and dry. And then let's just get these, again, these feathers. Everything in this kit, so the feathers, the chandelier, the mask, you are going to use time and time and time again because they're such a wonder, uh, wonderful embellishment, but not just for this. If you're doing these in baby pinks or baby blues for um, cards for people who've just had babies, you know, feathers on there with the uh, offered... I don't know, my little angel. Obviously not my daughter. No, she is really. <laughs> she is my little angel. So yeah, so everything in this kit is going to is has got a multi-use. You can definitely use it time and time and time again. So let's just move them to the side. So I'm gonna again I've got a different I thought we'd do a different shape card again. Um because it's a flamboyant kit, so we'll do flamboyant cards. So it's going to be five by eight, but the piece of card I've used is huge. So it's 15 inches wide. And if I turn it this way, so you've got your five by eight, oh, you can't see. So this is your five by eight base. And then I've scored each one of these at two and a half. So you've got five, 10, 15 inches wide. 
but obviously once it's all folded up it's not so what we're going to do is so we've got some of that beautiful so it's that copper color so we've got the the mirror they've got the matte mirror and we've got the pearlescent mm. so that's what we're going to use for this one so we're going to mat and layer it all up and all i've done on here so one of those stamps from this kit just welcome to the masquerade ball and again so i've done that in the um the bronze to match the paper and then i've heat embossed it so we're gonna glue all this together and then the chandelier is going to be a nice big prominent feature on this card oh my glass mat's still warm <laughs> So, oh, people are sending in what they're having for their dinner now oh, as well. Other. Chicken curry <laughs> says uh, Evelyn. Lovely. Evangeline says hi Ben. It's Monday morning on Guam now. Monday morning. Oh, what day is it? Oh, it's Sunday, isn't it? Fred's having French oh, it toast. Is, yeah. French toast with strawberries for breakfast in a bit. That sounds nice. I love French toast. Yeah. Corn chowder says Terry. It's cold in Ohio. Our family does Sunday big breakfast. What's a chowder? Like a thick soup, is it? Does anyone know? A chowder? We don't know, is the answer. <laughs> the guys in the gallery. Uh, chowder's like a, um, yeah, well, I'm not quite sure. It's, a, it's really nice, but uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what it is. Um, AJ says, I need to start Sunday dinner. I didn't put a roast in yesterday because I was watching Crafters Companion on YouTube. Sunday dinner <laughs> uh, is not the big deal it was when I was a kid. No, it's not for us. Um, Janine says, I have chicken and potatoes in the crock pot. Ooh, nice warm Sunday meal and a cold, snowy football day. Oh, those all sound lovely, actually. I need to nip back home and get some dinner in a minute, actually. I've got, um, I've got a shepherd's pie oh, and a yes. salad. Nice. A, a green salad to That's go nice. with it. That's comfort food, shepherd's yeah. pie, on a cold Sunday. What oh, you guys got in the gallery? Straight. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't fancy jar just to. George is um, on a on a New Year's diet, and he's got a. Well, if you got a two hundred calorie what? <laughs> mac and cheese. <laughs> it's like mac and cheese in a sachet. <laughs> and Georgina's eating uh, cake and having a shake. Cake and shake. <laughs> she is, isn't she? Uh, oh, she's having a burger and fries, then a cake and a shake. <laughs> And then she's going on. Then she's going on <laughs> on the two hundred calorie diet with George or something. Just saying. <laughs> oh, so what I'm going to do is. So this piece here is eight by four, and this piece is going to glue on there, and it's going to glue on there. So it's going to keep all my concertina bits in. Let me just stick that back down. So and then this is what I'm going to put my chandelier on. Make it nice uh, and a big focal piece. So just bobbing that on there. I'm not pressing it down too much yet because I want to make sure I've got it in the right place. So when this comes up, it's going to be nice and straight. So just fold that over. We've got less than five minutes remaining just to let everybody know. So we probably need to do the vote for the demo. The show okay, very shall I? Uh, are we doing it now or? There we go. Right, so shall I bring in just the ones that I've done? Up to you. What do you reckon, guys? Yes. Okie dokie. So oh, that. Oh, forgot about that bad boy. <laughs> so I can't remember which order. Oh, I know I did this. So this is definitely number one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that was number two. Yeah. And then the shaker card was number three. Right, so one for the masks, one. two for the shall we dance, three for the shaker mask. You've got about two minutes to get your vote in on that. That is going to be a tough decision. Uh, get your votes in now and we'll do the demo of the show in just a few moments' time. Uh, just give you hopefully enough time, Michelle, just to finish off this project. It should do, yeah. So there you go. So I've got that lovely um, concertina effect going on now. And so this chandelier is going to go right on the front. So again, just bringing in my dotted tape pen to glue this down. And that's going to go just on there. Oh, I'm stuck it to my finger. 
There we go. And then I'm going to just bring in a couple of these. I'm just going to lift that up a little. I'm just <laughs> going to tuck them under. Everyone's saying they want to be able to vote on this card as well. <laughs> you can vote on this one as well if you want to. Number four. But you won't see the finished sample product project until we've finished. So, but if you want to vote for, you can do. I'm nice like that. Do I have time to do my sentiment or shall I just leave it as it is? Um, I'll leave it as it okay. is. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll, put, we'll bung a few gems on that all there. Let's just put a few of these gems on. And again, just in random, random places, not that I can decide. Sometimes decisions and adulting is just too difficult. There we go. So there we go. So that is my, my concertina. And it's got that lovely little sentiment there. Fantastic. Um, we are literally into the final couple of minutes here. The full collections that want to go for, if uh, budget allows, uh, which hopefully it does today, because we've taken off, what, 30% off the usual price. Platinum members get another 20%, so that is £47.99 or $61.85. You get your 12 by 12 paper pad. You're going to get your 25 sheets of luxury cardstock. You've got all of those beautiful stamps in there as well, the feather dies. Uh, you've got the embossing folders in there too, 3D embossing folders. Um, and I tell you what, so many of you uh, jumping in and grabbing this today as well. If you want to be able to go for the individuals, you can do. And if you are making up your own um, bundle, then I would say go for the embossing folders because they are on a half price deal for you up until the end of play today. Right, De whoa, demo of the show. Apparently a lot of people change their mind. Ooh. Four. Ah. We did put four <laughs> into vote, Georgina. Weren't you listening to me? Weren't you listening to me? I said to her a few minutes ago, <laughs> it's just literally, people were saying they wanted to vote for four. So I then said, yes, you can vote for four if you wanted to. So everyone's voted for four. <laughs> Georgina's gone, well, I didn't listen to you. I'm so sorry. Some things in life never change. Um, <laughs> well, four amazing projects. So that one is going to be um, up for uh, demo of the day a little bit later on. Second Chance Sunday's coming up in two hours' time. We've got the sub boxes, buy three, get three. We've got amazing, uh, totally Tiffany uh, storage goodies coming up for you as well. Uh, plus, then we've got the Enchanted Dreams collection coming back for you and a whole host more. Um, it's going to be one heck of a show. Um, Michelle, thank you so much. And um, thank you very see much. See you in a couple, yeah? Yeah. See you soon. Um, make sure if you are uh, getting anything from this show, you do uh, check out your baskets. You can continue to shop after the show uh, and get ahead on the web as well. Lovely cards, Michelle, says Mary. It was a hard vote today. Uh, and Carleen says, uh, love all of them. Uh, and now I feel that I can really use my collection. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, that is what we're here for. All of the uh, inspiration. And I'm glad you guys, whether you bought this just now or whether you've had it and you're now finally going to get it out to use it, uh, you have enjoyed this show. We'll be back in a couple. Second Chance Sunday. Until then, have a great afternoon and we'll see you in a bit.